A giant mirror collects light from the cosmos and suddenly allows mankind to time travel to the dawn of existence. Through it, we will glean answers to some of humankind's most profound questions. How did the universe form? How were stars born? Are we alone? This stunning technological achievement leverages solid engineering techniques, harnessing extraordinary skills and strategies to transform traditional methods into a collective human triumph. The result? The Giant Magellan Telescope. Giant Magellan Telescope is uh, one of the next generation extremely large telescopes that will uh, unlock numerous secrets uh, of the universe. In some ways it seems esoteric to be studying the universe, but in some ways it's very immediate and it certainly bears on a lot of other aspects of science. There'll be many discoveries we can't even predict. But certainly uh, one of the ones that captures the imagination of people around the world, people young and people old, is the search for signatures of life uh, elsewhere in the universe beyond our Earth. Designed to push the boundaries of human knowledge, the Giant Magellan Telescope has the world's largest telescopic surface at 25.4 meters in diameter. Individually, the seven mirrors are 8.4 meters in diameter. It will be four times more powerful than the James Webb Space Telescope and 10 times more powerful than the Hubble Space Telescope. The telescope is comprised of two light collecting surfaces of seven mirrors each. The primary mirror surface collects the light and brings it into focus in front of the secondary mirror. The light is then reflected back through the hole in the center of the primary mirror to a suite of scientific instruments that produce images for the observer. However, turbulence in the atmosphere typically interferes with the clarity of the image. At the core of the design of the Giant Magellan Telescope is an, a system of adaptive mirrors that can literally reconfigure their surface thousand times a second to cancel out the turbulence in the atmosphere. So we feed that information back to the secondary mirrors. They can reconfigure themselves and keep up with that turbulent behavior of the atmosphere and essentially stabilize the image. Crafting this next generation design requires great technical expertise. The telescope mount is really key to the performance of the telescope. It's what positions all of the optical elements in the correct location and it's the optics that the light is reflecting off of and that focuses the image uh, onto the detectors or the science instruments. So the, the telescope has to move very smoothly to allow us to track objects in the sky as the Earth is rotating. The total scope of the Giant Magellan Telescope is a massive 22 stories tall, and at 21 metric tons, the mount floats on a film of oil the thickness of a human hair. It is a completely unique system that will supercharge our knowledge of the universe. One of the real strengths of doing something that no one has ever done before is you attract tremendous interest from creative people uh, worldwide. We are blessed by having a consortium of 13 partners, some of the world's greatest research uh, teaching institutions in the U.S. and abroad. These uh, organizations, these universities, together have provided uh, the resources to bring us to this point in building the Giant Magellan Telescope. We also held a worldwide competition to design and build the telescope mount. Out of that competition, Ingersoll Machine Tools rose to the top and we're very happy that they are going to be building this telescope mount for the Giant Magellan Telescope. The commonalities between uh, what Ingersoll does and what uh, the Magellan Telescope project needs are the fact that uh, both uh, uh, are dealing with an uh, extra-large structure that needs to be extremely rigid and that needs to have a high level of accuracy in positioning something. And that's why these two parallel paths became actually 
join in a single in a single effort. Our partner company OHB in, in Germany, they do all the analysis for the functionality of the telescope. Our job is to make it more manufacturable and, and ability to assemble. So the mount has to be able to rotate the mirror cells around uh, horizontally and be able to rotate them on elevation up to 60 degrees. It's very important that the mount can move to the, to the location where it's needed without jitter. It's a phenomenal uh, process to be involved in because you get to work with scientists who are working on all the scientific instrumentation, understand their perspective on why they're doing what they're doing, and you can then say, okay, now I get it, so we can, we can work with them on the design to make that happen. Ingersoll is not alone in this endeavor. It has support from important partners like Siemens. The CineMark 1 is a fully open CNC controller. Uh, it has capabilities for automation at, with PLC built inside of it. It has fully functional, full functionality for traditional CNC applications like milling, turning, grinding. But of course, it also is open enough with compile cycles and future expandability for additive uh, applications as well. By bringing together the expertise of the giant Magellan Telescope organization, Ingersoll, Siemens, and other partners, humankind is poised to truly explore the universe. We're going to be able to address a number of really important questions that will have ramifications for how scientists think about astronomy, how physicists think about physics. And one of the next most important questions that we're going to be addressing with extrasolar planets is whether those planets can support life and whether in fact any of them do support life. So if there are planets nearby that have the right combination of molecular signature, we'll be able to find them. Pairing traditional manufacturing methods with design breakthroughs, we are accelerating leading-edge science to discover the unknown and answer questions that speak to the core of our existence.